Okay, so good day. This will be the module 2 of our Hydro Geo. Okay, starting with the um, principles of hydrostatic. Okay, so first we need to um, know this at least um, common um, unit conversions. Okay, this one. And we have the absolute um, pressure that is gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure. Okay, if that is vacuum, then that will be negative. Okay, so please note on these um, terminologies and ito variations of pressure as you can see in the figure um, the pressure at point 1 or the difference in pressure between point 1 and point 2 um, is just equals to P2 dito. Okay? that is P1 plus the difference in height Okay, as we all know that the pressure in liquid varies as the height increases Okay, and also we know that the H um, um from pressure is equals to gamma height no we just um, cross multiply that so h is expressed into p over gamma and ito yung tinatawag nating um, pressure head okay so we have this also um, um, relationship between the h and the specific gravity okay so let's try an uh, basic example an open tank contains 5.7 meters of water covered with 2.8 meters of kerosene. Uh, we have the uh, unit weight of the kerosene. So we are to find the pressure at the interface and also find the pressure at the bottom of the tank. Okay, so imagine this is the um, tank. Okay, so it is stated that the water is 5.7 meters in height and the kerosene is 2.8 meters. And of course, um, it is not stated here that the water is under the kerosene. But as we all know that the water has a unit weight of 9.81, meaning mas mabigat yung water natin. So dapat nasa ilalim yung water. Okay? So for number one, calculate the pressure at the interface, meaning at this point. So at this point, uh, the pressure is just um, gamma height. Take note that the unit weight here is... 8.0 okay and the water is 9.81 okay for part one that is just gamma height and that is 8.0 the gamma of the kerosene times the height of the kerosene and that is 22.4 okay basic lang now the at the bottom of the tank meaning um, the total pressure at that point is just the summation of pressure of from the top up to the bottom Okay, of course, that is just this one, the pressure until the interface, gamma times height, plus, take note, we have the pressure here, I plus pa natin yung pressure due to this water up to that point. Okay, the, this should be 9.81 times 5.7. Okay, 9.81 yan up to that point. Since ito yung gusto natin kunin na um, pressure. Okay, so here we have 7.32 kilopascal. Okay, basic lang. Okay, how about this? If the absolute pressure in a gas is 40 PSI absolute, okay? And the atmospheric pressure is 846 uh, M bars absolute, find the gauge pressure in the bar. Okay, so take note that we have this. The absolute pressure is equals to gauge plus the atmospheric. Okay, so hindi niya sinabi ano yung unit na kukunin natin, no? So... Let's assume na lang na um, PSI yung kukunin natin. Okay? Or um, bars. Um, uh, sinabi pala, find the gauge pressure in bar. Okay? Nakabars dapat yung unit natin. So, in this case, um, binigay yung absolute pressure. Okay? The pre absolute pressure is 40 PSI absolute. So, we will convert this to bar na lang diretsya. Okay? So, 40 PSI, okay, take note that in every 4.7 PSI, we have 1 atmosphere. Okay, and take note also that in every 1 atmosphere, we have this 101.325 kilopascal. And every 100 kilopascal, we have 1 bar. So, as you can see, makancel ito lahat. Ang matitirang um, unit dito is bar. And that is the end. And that is the conversion of the uh, from PSIA. Okay, so... Next, take note that if we will transpose this, that will be P absolute minus P atmospheric. Okay? 
So since uh, binigay yung atmospheric pre pressure natin dito, do direct ay uh, direct substitution na. So that will be the absolute pressure is 2.76 bars minus um, the atmospheric pressure. That is 8.46 m bars. So meaning we convert natin to um, bars. Okay, just multiply this. Um, times 10 raised to negative 3 or neg um, divided by 1000 para maging uh, millibars siya. I mean maging bars. Uh, dito is that is m bars, millibars. So convert natin to bars, so divided by 1000. Okay, so that is just simply a unit analysis. No? Dapat, um, of course, essential sa atin to na marunong tayo mag-convert. That is 1.91 bars. Okay? Okay, how about this? If the atmospheric pressure is 0.9 bar absolute and the gauge attached to the tank reads 390 mm Hg vacuum, what is the absolute pressure within the tank in kilopascal? Okay, so we have the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so again, ito yung formula natin. So, ang pinapahanap dito is the absolute pressure. So, it says that the atmospheric pressure, so we have this atmospheric pressure and we have the gauge pressure. 390 mmHg. So, ang pinapahanap, what is the absolute pressure in the tank in kilopascal? Again, this is unit analysis lang. So, the atmospheric pressure is 0.9 bars. Then, convert natin yung gauge pressure. Take note, ito yung gauge pressure. I know, um, ito yung atmospheric pressure. Then, I just converted this into kilopascal na lang muna. Okay? Okay, take note that in every 100 kilopascal, we have 1 bar. So, that can be cancelled out. Ang matitira is 90 kilopascal. Now, i-convert din natin yung gauge pressure. Okay, so, ang binigay na gauge pressure is 390 um, millimeter, millimeter of a mercury. Okay, so, how to convert that? That is 390. Okay, one atmosphere is um, 760 mmHg and... <coughs> In 101.325 kilopascal, we have one atmosphere. So, ma-cancel out yan. Ang matitira is negative 52 kPa. Okay. So, bakit negative to? Okay, negative since that is vacuum. Okay, take note. If vacuum yan, that is pressure. I, I, I mean, that is negative. Okay, so direct substitution lang. Okay, we have the gauge and we have the atmosphere. And that is the answer. Okay, so actually, you can just derive the, I mean, you can just um, convert this using the um, uh, principle of uh, pressure, no? That is, ito yung um, pressure head, mm of mercury. So, you can just convert this by um, like this. Okay, but mas exact ito pag gagamitin natin yung conversion factor. Okay, so, ganito yan. Ito yung ibig sabihin yan. Okay, so that one, yung 390 mm, that is just the pressure head. Okay, so the pressure, <coughs> uh, diba pressure is equals to gamma height. Okay, so take note that this is a mercury. So gamma height, so gamma of the mercury is, okay, so we have the common specific gravity of mercury, 13.6 times 9.81 for water. Okay, Sg times gamma of water. Okay, yan yung gamma. Multiply by that height, okay, times, convert natin into uh, meters, 0.39. Meters, uh, I mean, naka-height lang yan, that is pressure head. Okay, if that is the value, and bibigyan nito is 52, the same dyan. But mas exact ito kasi this is the exact conversion unit, okay? Pero hindi na bad. This is, isn't bad na, okay? At least, if makalimutan natin to, alam natin na this is just the pressure head. Okay, that is just gamma height para mag-convert natin into kilopascal or into a pressure. Okay, so anyways, um, um, karagdagang knowledge lang. Okay, how many meters of water is equivalent to 2.55 atmospheres? Okay, how can we do this? Okay, again, from pressure is equals to gamma height. Okay, take note that atmosphere is a pressure. So, we can just... One atmosphere, convert na lang natin into kilopascal, okay? And every one atmosphere, we have 101.325 kilopascal, okay? So, conversion of units lang, times, is equal to gamma, times height, okay? Take note, that is water, meaning 9.81 yung unit weight natin.
And from here, we got H is 26.33 meters. Okay? So, lumalabas ito sa board exam. Okay? Mga basic lang. But if hindi mo alam yung principle, mawawala ka talaga. Okay? How about this? This is a CE board problem. At the foot of the mountain, a mercury with specific gravity of 13.63 barometer reads 800 mmHg. Okay? Again, if ito yung binigay, that is just the pressure head pa lang. Hindi pa yan yung pressure. And at that, the same instant, at the top of the mountain, a barometer reads 500 mmHg. Okay? That is a pressure head. So, assuming air had a constant unit weight of 12.01 newtons per cubic meters, what is the approximate height of the mountain? Okay? Take note, this is a CE board exam. And as I see on the CE reference, okay, from the uh, book of... Um, Sir Diego Gilisanya ilang ulit tong bumalik bumabalik balik okay so anyways we will solve this okay if we have this mountain the gauge pressure here will let's call that P1 and let's call this P2 okay so at the foot of the mountain that correspond P2 the pressure head is 800 mmHg okay so um, all we need to calculate is this height so how can we calculate this Okay, take note that we have the gamma of the water. I mean gamma of the air. Uh, that is 12.01 newtons per cubic meters. So, take note that P2 is just... Okay, convert muna natin yung P2. Yung binigay dito is a barometric uh, reading or kumbaga naka-pressure head pa yan. 800 mmHg. So, from this um, basic formula, uh, pressure is equal to gamma height. So, since that is a mercury, so SG times, SG of the mercury times gamma of the water times height. Yung head na to, ito yung pressure head na binigay dyan. Okay, convert ko muna natin. So, okay, so 13.63, yung unit weight of the, I mean the SG of the mercury, that one, times 9.81 times 0.8. So, we have this, the press, uh, pressure at 2 or at 0.2 is 106.97. Now, let's convert the P1 naman. Okay, P1 is 66.86. Okay, you can do this na. The same lang dito. 13.63 times 9.81 times 0.5. Convert natin yan into meters. And that is the value. Now, take note that P P1 plus gamma times height is equals to P2. Kung baga, the initial pressure at this point plus the pressure due to the um, air up to that point gamma times height is just equals to P2. Yan lang yung ibig niyang sabihin dito sa formula to. Initial pressure at the point up the elevated elevated point plus gamma height okay? Up to that point yan yung um, equivalent pressure dito. This is just the same kanina sa ginawa natin sa yung may tank, di ba? From initial pressure sa taas, nag-add pressure lang tayo until the bottom. The same lang yan. Okay, now in this case, yung hahanapin natin is yung H. So, we can just directly solve this H. Okay, as you can see. So, we can substitute P1 and P2 there. Okay, so that one. Okay, so take note that this is 12.01 newtons. I convert natin to kilonewtons. And we have this value. Okay, klaro? Madali lang siya, no? Uh, take note, this is a board exam problem. Okay. How about this? This is also a board exam type problem. A 10 kN car is to be lifted by a hydraulic jack if 6 to 5 newtons of force is applied in a 25 mR diameter plunger, find the required diameter of the pest piston in millimeters. Okay, so how can we do this? Okay, ganito yan. If we are to imagine a hydraulic jack, okay, ganito yan. So, may nilagay na um, car dito. Ito yung piston. Okay? Okay? So this is just an imagination of the hydraulic jack. Hindi ito yung exact jack talaga. Okay? So, we have now the unit, uh, I mean the weight of that car, 10 kilonewtons. Okay? So, we need to find the required diameter of this piston. Okay? So, sinabi dito, if 6 to 5 newtons of force is applied in a 25 mm diameter flanger, that one. And ito yung 25 mm diameter. Ito. Okay, so how can we calculate the diameter dito? Okay, 
this is the principle the pressure that is um, induced because of this force dito okay that is force over the area yan yung pressure must be equals to the pressure induced dito and, and again that is just force divided by that area parang nagko-contra lang yung pressure niya okay parang pinupush niya dito if may um, fluid dyan okay pinupush pa ganyan at the same dito dapat equal sila para um, equilibrium okay so by that we can just simply um, say that the force that force 10 kilonewtons gawin natin newtons divide divide that area okay so diameter yan so area of a circle pi over 4 and the diameter of the piston then squared is equals to the force that is already in newtons divided by that area pi over 4 times 25 squared so we can just solve the diameter dito and that is 100 millimeters okay madali lang na okay how about another example this one okay a force of 460 newtons this one is applied on lever AB this one so naka-applied yung force dito so NB is connected okay this NB is connected to a piston which fits into a cylinder having a diameter of 60 millimeters okay ito yon. this one daw is nakalagay siya sa cylinder na 60 mm diameter so um what force FD, this one, acts on the larger piston if the volume between C and D is filled with water? Okay, that one. Okay, so how can we calculate this? Okay, may hint na tayo. If ganitong mga problem, we will equate the pressure here to the pressure dito because of this um, um, force here. Okay, this is um, incompressible water dito. Okay, so anyways... Okay, so how can we calculate the force dito? Okay, since we have this um, force here, we can just simply take moment about O. Then we can just simply um, um, calculate the force dito. Then again, we will equate pressure here and the pressure at that point. Okay, so let's try to... Okay, kita nyo? I just um, um, separate this, okay? Isolate natin. Okay, so if we take summation of moment about O, okay, we have this uh, force FB dito, of course. Okay, um, we take if, uh, summation of moment about O, that will be um, FB times 120, that will cause clockwise rotation, minus 460 times 220. Okay, nag-moment tayo dito, and we have this FB. And of course, by action-reaction, i-transfer natin yan dito, yung FB. Okay, dyan. Okay, klaro man siguro. Trinansfer lang natin yung FB natin sa kabila. Okay, by this, we can just simply equate pressure na. That is the pressure here, force over that area, and we have this press, uh, force in B, is equals to force divided by that area. Okay, and that force here is FD, and here, we calculated the force at 15.835 newtons. Okay. So, sobrang easy lang, no? Okay, dito naman, mga pressure naman yung isolve natin. Okay, so maybe um, this problem will be in the next uh, video na lang. Ikakat ko muna ito dito.